we've been focusing on some design concepts and playing around with our theory. And uh, basically, what we're trying to do is create a web-based app and some mobile components, which you know, all working through REST API, which allows you to track tasks, use QR codes, and potentially beacons. And uh, Anthony's using his credit card to order all kinds of toys to fund the experiments. This sounds um, awesome. Anthony has a <laughs> job so far. I kind of want Anthony's job, actually. Yeah, he's having lots of fun. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I'll have any money at the end of the project, but we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to take up some uh, collections. Right. But um, what we did is uh, Anthony did a first pass of some uh, wireframes, and I think we shared those with you two weeks ago. And uh, what we did is we took a, another pass at a potential design, and this the idea was that anyone, uh, you know, whether it's in within a corporation using it for onboarding or uh, mom and dad doing Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts want to use it to help the kids track the, you know, the Girl Scout cookies, finding them or whatever. So from an admin section, the idea was that you could set up an activity or an object. Um, you can go in and manage them. You can look at the data and analytics. So here we're just showing three potential on boarding scenarios where you can basically drill down and look at it. If I were to click add, the ideal is that they could go in, uh, take an image of a particular location. So the hot thing with onboarding seems to be tours and guiding people around new facilities and understanding the different areas and you know, getting them familiar with the organization and so on. So in this view, basically you go in, enter a name, you can select a person, place, or thing. So what do you want them to do if I select place? We could select, select a target location if they were using beacons. If they were not using beacons, you know, we could support creating QR codes. Um, the other thing that we did is had this task type scenario where basically they're just checking it off. So if I don't have any funding uh, or can't afford to add beacons or any technical background or so on, I can still use the product to, uh, you know, within an organization or a nonprofit or whatever it might be to uh, complete a task. So from there, um, we focused on the mobile side, and the idea was that when you first launch it, we're using a temporary name of My Compass, but the idea is that you have a learning plan, you have some resources, you have some image update, and we've got our nav bar across the bottom, so you have the ability to uh, go into a notebook, um, look at your learning plan itself, share your information, or take a picture using your mobile device. So if I happen to click on learning plan, um, I have everything that I need to do to accomplish this particular onboarding activity at this site. So each one of these objects uh, would reveal a to-do. So if I select overview prep, the idea is I get an overview of that facility. I see an image. I could you know, move my hand to the left and see some additional information about the different areas of the facility, what I need to focus on. And the idea is that as you're going through it, you would touch or check off that, hey, I've completed this task and that would feed back to the LRS with that data that Nick did this at this time, and he's gone through step one. Um, as they're looking at the mobile app, it you know, kind of tracks what they did. So in the learning plan, they've completed task one. If I select meet with team lead, you might see an image, you know, have contact information, just taking advantage of what's available on the phone. Um, so we could call, or if you're sitting in front of them, in this case, we're imagining we're actually in the office facility. Um, so when I walked into Marsha's uh, room, there might be a beacon, so it would just pop up on my device saying, you know, you got credit for that because there's a, a beacon in her room, so you don't need to do, physically do anything. So right. I'm just trying to show off the different capabilities there. Um, so we did a, qu a quick overview of the UI, just explaining what the different components would do. Um, this is representing Anthony back in his room, and um, he's got a Raspberry Pi. He's trying to work into this whole thing some beacon tech, and I'm trying to justify uh, getting our hands on some Microsoft stuff, HoloLens, to uh, oh. play our apps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not sure if we can do that. But uh, so that's where we are right now. Nice. So he's All working right. on the so back-end tech stuff. If you could make that and, and, and sell it to me, that would be good. I'd yeah, be that's what we're working on. That's a dream. <laughs> <laughs> nice. 